Now, there's something that I look forward to every year, and that is the Presidential Golf Day. And it's that time again. Every year after the State of the Nation address, well, it happens. A charity golf challenge, which I must say brings together enthusiasts and VIPs and, of course, our president as well to make sure that we raise money for a really good cause. Of course, uh, a charity that's close to our president's heart. Now, today's challenge in support uh, is in support of the Jacob Zuma Education Trust, something that I want to know more about. And here to talk about the importance of it, we've got our Minister of Public Service and Administration. We've got uh, Mr. Collins Kabani in studio and Advocate Dominic Kamala. Uh, he dreamt of being a lawyer and today he is one. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> Minister, I'm going to start with you. It's exciting. I've seen these golf days and everyone waits for the president to tee off. Clearly, it's in aid of education, but are you an avid golfer or are you more in supporting the education? It's both. Mm. <laughs> it's both. Uh, I also play golf, as you can see, I'm ready yes, now to go I to the field. I see you ready. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, as, uh, as the president has made education his passion, uh, we're also excited that people are supporting mm. that cause. I'm excited about the course because I've seen that through sport we are able to support education and raise funds for hundreds of children to get through school, to get through university. How much are you hoping to raise today? I mean, what were the figures like last year? We, we, we had, we had um, made our target to be 12 million. Mm. We have already crossed, crossed the 10 million mark and we're hopeful that in the remaining few hours until the dinner where we're going to announce the figures, uh, we should be able to raise the rest. So those who are still waiting to, 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 to come to assist us, please, you are still welcome. You are still welcome. Well, there you just heard it from the minister, a call to all our corporates to come out and play today and to make sure that they raise the funds. Advocate Kamala. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from the humble streets of Soweto. Okay. In Orlando West. Yes. Uh, not far from Nelson Mandela's house, actually. I'm, I'm excited. I know that house. <laughs> but here you are. I mean, the trust got you where you are today. Yes. Tell me more about your story. Um, I was financially excluded mm -hmm. uh, in my second year of university when right. I was doing a Bachelor's of Arts. And uh, like any other young person, I was passionate about education, but my mother could not pay mm. the fees. Then, you know, the university was like, if you do not pay us, you're out, irregardless of uh, you passing. Then I was like, you know what, who's the one person in this country that can actually pay for my fees? I thought of business people but I couldn't get a hold of them. Mm. Then I went to the presidential website and I emailed everyone in the president. At the time, I owed 52,000. Sure. Wrote to the president. At the time, I didn't know him. Wrote to the president. And in two weeks, President Jacob Zuma actually paid 52,000 rand out of wow. his pocket. And today, I hold a bachelor's degree in politics and international relations, postgraduate LLB, an advanced uh, diploma in business um, and commercial law, and a number of um, postgraduate certificate courses, which they're a long list because we don't have time uh, tonight at the yeah, dinner. I'm so excited. He's got a long list of qualifications. I'm just Ilana. Yeah. <laughs> I don't and, have any uh, titles. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, so, so the RDP Trust helped you to get where you are? Yes, it has helped over 24,000 students mm. who are in a desperate situation. The president, of course, is very passionate about education, even though he did not go to university, mm. but the number of young people uh, he has educated. I think that's his legacy, you know? Mm. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Well, listen, we are inspired by your story. Minister, thank you so much for coming in thank today. Thank you very much. It's we hope you reach your target today and that you can help more students. And you heard it through the Jacob Zuma RDP Education Trust. If you want to know more about the trust and be like our advocate today who is here and representing, you can go to jacobzumatrust.org.za. This is your feel-good breakfast show. Thank you once we'll again for joining. Target. You'll reach your target, <laughs> yes, we'll, says we'll, Minister. We'll, 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 we'll be back after thank the break. You.